Rediscover the power of family bonds with Structure Deck Legend of the Crystal Beasts. Well, that's what we got here today. Structure Deck Legend of the Crystal Beasts. We're just going to get right into it and check it out. So this is, I think, the newest Structure Deck that has been released so far. Um, they've also released some new Structure Decks in Master Duel as well that are... Um, pretty cool as well and they just added a decode talker heat soul with the structure deck um so that's pretty cool too uh i basically wanted to get this so that i could add the ash blossom in it to a deck of mine that i've been using but i also just wanted to check it out and you know see how it plays and see how it feels i got the albez deck and i really liked that one so uh, if it's anything like that, then I'm sure I won't be disappointed. Um, not sure how they got this sealed, but it looks like they got like a little rip tie, but I can't really get to it. I'm trying not to scratch whatever this thing is. It says PS5 and Xbox on it. I think this is talking about Master Duel or Cross Duel or something, but uh, they haven't really released anything that's like a like a code card in the past I don't think that like lets you have the cards in the game but if they did that would be cool what is this I think it's just an advertisement yeah experience the next generation of Yu-Gi-Oh a digital trading card game yeah this doesn't have any codes on it but it is kind of cool that um they're starting to do stuff like that maybe you know in the future I think they definitely should. I mean, Pokemon does it, and you get the code cards that you can use online and stuff too. But, all right, let's just take a look here. So we got the Rainbow Dragon. Ultimate Crystal Rainbow Overdrive Dragon. Crystal Beast Rainbow Dragon. Rainbow Bridge of the Heart. Crystal Bond. Rainbow Overdragon. Jesse Anderson, Bonder with the Crystal Beasts. Jesse and Ruby, Unleashing the Legend. So I think those are all the rares from the set, and then everything else should be pretty standard. But um, let's go ahead and go through them anyway real quick. I'm just going to kind of rifle through them. Carbuncle, Amethyst Cat, Emerald Tortoise, Topaz Tiger, Amber Mammoth, Cobalt Eagle, Sapphire Pegasus, Rainbow Dark Dragon, Crystal Master, Crystal Keeper, Ham the Lord of the Striking, Dimension Shifter, Contact C, Ash Blossom. That's the one. There we go. And you know what? I'll take the Ghost Bell too. Like if I if I do take stuff out of this deck, I'll probably add this in there as well. Cause you know I really like that. I got the Ghost Ogre, I got the um, Ghost Mourner, and now I got Ghost Bell and Ash Blossom, which I think is all of them. I was talking with my friend about it today. We were trying to figure out if that was all. I think it's only those four. So anyway, Crystal Ultimates, Crystal Aegis, Ancient City, Rainbow Bridge, Crystal Beacon, Crystal Blessing, Crystal Abundance, Cosmic Cyclone, Crystal Promise, Crystal Tree, Crystal Release, Rare Value, Rainbow Refraction, Advanced Dark, the Melody of the Awakened Dragon, Foolish Burial Blood, Crystal Boon, Crystal Mir Miracle, Crystal Brilliance, Crystal Pear, Crystal Conclave, Ultimate Crystal Magic, Counter Gem, Ferret Flames, Metaverse, Crystal Beast Token. So yeah, you get three tokens with this deck, but uh, two of them um, are rares. And they have the hollow finish, which I'm not really familiar with this character. I think it's from one of the newer animes, um, though I'm not sure. Um, so, that's what you get in here. Um, I want to take a look at the uh, play map that they send us with it as well. Move some of this stuff real quick. So on the back, you have some stuff about the combos and other tutorials on how to use the deck and so forth. Um, 
I've also noticed that they sometimes put in like info about the uh, the story of the deck. Or no, here it is. Yeah, so they add stuff about the story of the deck. Um, sometimes it looks like they actually don't have it on this one. The Alves deck had it. They talked about who the characters were. Um, but anyway, they also talk about, um, which packs you can buy. So it looks like they're recommending Dimension Force, Power of the Elements, Battle of Chaos, and Battle of Legend. Uh, which I guess isn't even available yet. I haven't seen it. Um, but... Yeah, I gotta keep an eye out for that one. That's probably the set to buy next if you're looking for one. Uh, let's take a look at the art. So, yeah, you get the uh, Crystal Dragon. Or uh, Crystal Beast. Which one is it? Let me take a look here. It's probably the cover card. Yeah, it's Ultimate Crystal Rainbow Dragon Overdrive. So that's cool. Um... I like that they do this because now I have two of them and now I can kind of set them apart from each other and um, my friend or my wife and I, we can play and kind of look at the rules on the back and know how to use both of the decks now. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, a little bit more about the deck. They have some info on the back of the box here. Jesse Anderson's Crystal Beasts are back in a big way with a new form of Rainbow Dragon ready to unleash a devastating final blow. Unlock the hidden potential of your Crystal Beasts with the brand new spell and trap cards. So yeah, I guess it's, um, you know, gotten some new support recently. But uh, anyway, so yeah, that's pretty much it for now. But um, I got one more thing that I wanted to take a look at. Uh, my friend gave me a card that I've been wanting to, you know, add into my Speedroid deck that I'm also thinking about adding this Ash Blossom and Ghost Mourner to. But, um, basically, uh, yeah, I'm making a Speedroid deck, and he gave me a Speedroid Scratch. So this card is actually pretty sweet. So it says, it's a little hard to read, but it says, Send one Speedroid card from your hand to the graveyard. Add one Speedroid monster from your deck to your hand. You can only activate one Speedroid Scratch per turn. So, yeah, basically, you have this in your hand, and then you send to the graveyard from your hand, and then add from the deck to your hand. So if you have some Speedroid in your hand that you can't play right now, you can send it to the graveyard, and then pull a Speedroid from the deck to your hand, and then, you know, if it has an ability, play it to the field immediately. That way you can, you know, have three monsters on the field or two or whatever the case may be. Uh, and then you can, you know, combo off of that even more. Um, but yeah, anyway, so yeah. So some pretty cool stuff out of this deck. And I wanted to show off that one a little bit. Um, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time.